Welcome back to the Tiny Room Hanger. Happy Friday, everybody. This is Mike. Today, I want to talk to you about collecting goals. It's good to have goals in life, whether it's for personal or professional or for collecting. It's really good to have goals. Today, I'm going to talk to you about goals in collecting masterpiece transformers. I've seen this in the comments. I've heard people talk about this. So I figured it'd be kind of fun to have a video. Hopefully, we can have fun talking about this and chatting about this. Some of these goals are opposites of each other because everybody has their own idea or reason for collecting or long-term strategy. And of course, I do want to hear what you say and what are your goals now? Have they changed over the years? We're going to talk about this and more coming up. So the first collecting goal that I hear so many people talk about is that I want to get season one and season two. Season one, two, part of three. So there's sort of putting a limit out there, whether it's for space, availability, or whatever, but I've heard this for years. I gotta say five years now that I've heard it consistently, almost every other video, somebody comments in there that they're only in it for season one, season two, and I started to figure out why. I think I knew why for a while there. And that's the 1986 movie. A lot of collectors or just people who remember Transformers were turned off by the movie, and it sort of split or divided the Transformer collecting community. So the up to the movie and then they stopped or after the movie is kind of where they started their starting point where they joined in and then they retroactively sort of collected the other ones. So the season one and two, I thought, well, this is a lot about the movie. But then I, I thought a little bit deeper because almost every toy line from the 80s has this same nostalgia feel. When you think about, say, the GoBots, I'm going to give you a few examples of different toy lines, but like the GoBots, when you think of them, you think about these six characters, probably about a total of ten characters, and a lot of people would be, I'd be in on these six total. I'd be in on ten total, but not the whole line. And I would hear the same thing with GoBots. I'm in on these six. Same thing with Thundercats. You're going to see a lot of people say that, hey, I'm in on the Series 1 characters and toys. But when you start looking at more obscure characters and Season 2, we're going to see how far and how deep Super 7 goes. And just mark my words, the Lionos and the Tigras and the Chitaras are going to sell out better than the Linksos and the later characters. Even though they're in high demand because there's very few of the vintage versions, modern iterations just don't interest collectors. Just like if Super 7 made these guys, I don't think they'd sell that well. Same thing can be said with Mask, Series 1. Everybody likes Series 1 of Mask, but what about the rest of them? There's less and less and less collectors interested in stuff past the first series. Same thing with Star Wars, even though it's a little more complicated, but obviously, where you see the little dots on the bottom row that say new, those are the least desirable figures. Yeah, the Jedi ones. Uh, except for maybe the speeder bike. So the next point that I hear a lot of people talking about they're wanting to upscale their combiners or even to a point where I'm setting goals on combiners. People want to set goals on what should they look for. And I get this a lot because I made a lot of combiner videos and talked about combiners a lot in the past, but you've got basically the 15 inch scale, the 18 inch scale and around the 21 inch scale. A lot of stuff in the middle that you kind of lump together to one of those scales. But for the most part, that's where we are with masterpiece scale transformers. So looking at this kind of with combiners, also looking at city bots, people are wanting to scale up. So one of the things that we saw back in the past, we had the fans project, those were on the smaller side. Then you look at the Make Toys Utopia, which is a really good figure, a really good figure, but it's pretty small and very small in comparison to what Hasbro gave us for a Titan. What we're going to see going forward, of course, shattering records on the size a Transformer could be with all these new Titans. Heck, I don't even know if anyone's coined a phrase on what we call these Masterpiece City Bots just yet. There should be some cool little phrase for them, but it's pretty interesting how big these are getting. It's exciting. It's, I talk about it a lot on my channel, but I'm not really going to get too much more into it in this video. But these are upgrading your collections, upscaling your collections, going to a different size, different scale. And a lot of people are excited to do it, and a lot of people aren't. Now, the next one I'll talk to you is the opposite direction. I've seen a lot of people talking about a goal of theirs is to downscale or downsize their collection. Instead of going Masterpiece, they switch to Legends or Mainline. And for the most part, this has to do with space and the ability to display it properly, adequately, 
and you know some people are just adding it in addition to but for the most part it has to do with space this is another one that i've been hearing actually since i started messing around with the legends about three years ago and i heard a lot of people talking about going to legends switching to legends ditching masterpiece and for the most part i can kind of see it it is going to be for the most part cheaper it is smaller there's a lot to it and i understand the switch from masterpiece to legends i've made videos about that too but that's a collector goal that i hear a lot so another goal that i'm hearing is the swap out goal i don't want to swap out my existing figures and that's a goal i want to stick with what i've got all this stuff that's coming down the pipeline almost all of it i would say 85 to 90 percent of the masterpiece releases are swap out figures you already have a certain character that's been made by another company and in some cases six other companies and yet we're still getting it again and a lot of this is well fans toys doing it x trans bots is doing it and for the most part it does wear on collectors to have to swap out all the time and i understand that i definitely do understand that so one of the goals is to not swap out is to say i'm going to stick with what i've got no matter what and not get the new figure now that's that's a goal in a way but the biggest problem is selling your old it's almost impossible to sell your old for what you paid so you have to accept taking a loss on your old figure for the most part unless you wait long enough until there are no options available for whatever reason you might be able to get a better price so on the other end of the goal of not wanting to swap out are the people that say i'll wait for the fans toys now this is a pre planned i don't want to swap out because after a certain while of seeing that i've got a figure from another company and then they get the fans toys they like the fans toys better fan, they become fans toys fanboys and when you're used to getting a product from a company it's usually the best then you just trust them so people have been waiting years i don't even know how many years for this outrider and now they're finally getting it it's getting into people's hands right now and they've avoided the swap out because they didn't get the extrans bot which is good. They didn't get the MMC, they didn't get uh, Bad Cube and all of those. They avoided the swap out because they stuck to their goal and their goal was to not swap out and they wanted the best. And of course, I'm hearing the same thing about this parkour, which I feel is gonna be the same exact situation that we saw with the Outrider years and years and years till it comes out. We'll find out, we'll see down the road if I'm right or wrong, but a lot of people say this will be the best their bomb will be the best and i really can't argue that that probably will be the best it does look very good and it's very clean even better than kind of what we've got with the 2.0 bumblebee from takara but this is that whole goal of theirs to wait for the best are you gonna have nothing on your shelf for the next five years now this is another goal that's been popping up lately that i actually heard a lot in the early days of masterpiece transformers and the goal of takara only and that also sounds like other things it sounds like i don't want to touch third party i'm not into third party at all i'm i'm just sticking with official official only for me those are different phrases of saying hey it's car only and with takara now getting back in the game and sort of ditching the 2.0s and the 3.0s and swinging for the fences with a lot of great releases i can see why there's a resurgence of that and people saying that in the comments over and over and over now now there's still going to be arguments and debates which one's better is fans toys still beating it is fans toys the better trail breaker and all that kind of stuff obviously those are fun discussions to have anyway so i'm down for it but uh it, it's one of those things that you're still going to see people with official certain country i believe japan the vast majority of the, J the collectors in japan go official more than a third party now something that i don't hear as much anymore and i was hearing this for a while I've seen it in the comments a little bit lately, is that I only collect Decepticons or I only collect Autobots, one or the other. It's a faction-driven collection, and I always think that that's interesting. I've seen a couple of collections that appear to be faction collections. Like, I only collect the bad guys. I only collect the good guys, the Autobots or the Decepticons. And that's always interesting to me. It intrigues me. And there's kind of, what's, what's this whole thought process? The thought process is that well, the bad guys don't usually sell as well as the good guys. The good guys will more or less sell themselves. The heroes sell themselves. But 
the bad guys have to look cooler if you're going to sell them. If you want to move your product of bad guys, they have to have a cooler look to them than the good guys, or else they're just going to sit on the shelf. Nobody's going to want them. For the most part, that's a mentality, a thought process, a toy maker thought process. And for the most part, it actually works. Lastly, I want to get into talking about a collection or collecting end game. What is your end game? What is the end game? We've been doing this for years. I've been doing this since MP01, so the very first Masterpiece Transformer, and still sticking with it and having a lot of fun along the way. I don't see an end game for me. I don't see a stopping point for me. Even if it's one Masterpiece Transformer a year, I'm still in the game. But for a lot of other people, they are saying, hey, I've got five figures to go. I want to finish up my combiners. I'm done. There's a lot of different kind of things I'm hearing, but I start to hear this end game creep up. Like this collecting goal of theirs is I want to wrap it up. I want these characters only and wrap it up. And those goals that I hear it over and over and over sort of make sense. And it's kind of like they want to put a bow on this, tie it off and be done. These people aren't looking for swap outs. These people aren't looking for the next best thing. These people are looking to finish and just enjoy all of the time, money, effort, and work that's gone into their collection. And at the same time, I can respect that. Now, for those of you that see that light of the end of the tunnel, the light is getting closer and closer and closer. Stuff like this pops up. It, it makes you reconsider. Are you really just going to get five more figures and end it? Because there's a lot of cool stuff that's on the way. A lot more stuff that we're going to look forward to and have a lot of fun with. And I kind of just really don't see an end game for as many people as I'm hearing. So anyway, what's your collection goal? What is your collecting goal? When it comes to Masterpiece Transformers or heck, anything else that's out there, it'd be kind of interesting to hear even other collections. And what are you doing with other collections? Are you wrapping those up? Are you getting into other stuff? And are you just kind of doing Masterpiece Transformers on the side while you're getting deeper into Masters of the Universe? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Try to hear Hanger out.